So if you're a Node.js developer and you feel like Node.js is getting a lot slower and slower recently, well, maybe you would want to change to this really awesome new technology or like compared to Node.js runtime, which is called Bun. So Bun is a new runtime and bundler, transpiler, all in one solution for web developers that has been recently released and it can actually get 3x or three times faster compared to Node.js and Dino. So Bun is a new shiny JavaScript runtime. And when we talk about runtime, we always remember like Node.js or its sibling Deno. And Bun actually comes in to basically replace that. Of course, it's still not in a stable like version or doesn't have a stable release just yet, but it has so many promising features and so many promising stuff that we are looking forward to it as developers. And not only that, so Bun in here, what it can do is actually it can work both on JavaScript or TypeScript. So you can do auto transpiling, it has a runtime, it has a transpiler, a bundler, it has even an NPM package manager, which you can use to install different packages. Now, for example, the bun.sh, which is the official website in here, can tell you more about this and how you can install it and how you can get up or wrong with it. And if you've seen many developers already talking about bun literally everywhere because it's been out for like less than a week now, and so many people have been just like, you know, taking bun in here and just like testing it out because it looks so interesting. And the most interesting part about it is actually how fast it is. So bun in here, for example, if you compare this bun to node and it's sibling Dino in here, I'm going to find like bun is like a lot more faster. So for example, for an HTTP server, you got one has in like 50k like requests per second, where node can serve around like 16,000 or 16k and Deno is 15k. Bun in here is absolutely dominating that. Also for like SQL lines, it's much, much you know, stabler and faster. For FFI in here for like binary code execution or low level execution in here, it's it's just dominating it by like 3x or more, which is crazy. So Bun is actually still a pretty new technology in here. So it's really not ready for production. Of course, you can just pick it up, you can go in and play around with it, you can just, you know, manipulate it however you want and test it benchmarking and see how it works. But it's still not for production because there's so many API changes are coming through. And you don't want to just like stay in that dead loop. Well, on the next thing in here, for example, like, you may be asking like, why new JavaScript one time where we already got node, which doing absolutely great and Dino, which is a new technology as well. I would say I would love to see a pretty new one like bun in here, which provides all in one solution, because it's it's actually providing one all in one solution It has been developed by a completely like, you know, separate team from node and the whole ecosystem that maybe it can have new ideas. And most importantly, it's so fast, it's so so fast. And why that is actually super fast, because it has been built on a low level uh, programming language called Zinglang. And Zinglang in here, it's just like something like C and C++, but it's more robust when it comes to dynamic uh, loading and heap allocation and memory allocation it's so much better. And uh, here, like, for example, why it's so exciting, why so many people are excited about it, because it literally allows you to use like all the development tools in a one single tool, like a 1000, it puts them in a single one, and you don't need to worry about all these development tools that you're going to need to be installing when it comes, for example, to Node.js and Yarn and NPM and all that sort of stuff. So in order to play around with Bun and actually benchmark this and see how it actually works, I went ahead to the, you know, the repository in here behind Bun in here that takes care of it. And I actually cloned this because he got like benchmarks, he got examples, opinion of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to work with it. And of course, the whole documentation is hosted inside of this, like, you know, um, this docs folder in here where you can just go in and see everything in here. So just, you know, I can advise you if you want to look at it, you can go back or just go straight into this, you know, GitHub repo to see all the docs. So in the official website in here for actually benchmarking, it uses Node.js version 18 and Bun 0.1. So I'm going to try to use the same version from Node.js. I'm not going to benchmark Dino. It's not really that going to be meriting about Dino in here. So I'm just going to jump into the you know, Visco repo in here. I'm going to go in into the bench folder, which has all the scripts and all the benchmarks that you would want to run in order to see how fast it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and first run the first benchmark using Node.js, which is a React Hello World using Node.js. And it should use this one because this is this is like the compiled version of it. Okay. And what this one does is actually a 
as like an SSR server, all it does is go ahead and like renders uh, local server side rendering of a React application, like it's exclusive your HTML body and everything. And it creates a server, it does, you know, the rendering, it's actually a little bit more complicated, it has, you know, too much boilerplate code, but of course, it does the job, and it's going to list in on port 9080 for that. And this is, of course, the Node.js version, I'm going to run in this because this is actually the bundled. And as we all know, Node.js can't run like with, you know, imports and everything, it could with latest versions, but you got to do a lot of imports in here for react and everything. So this is the bundled one. And now when it comes to bun, we're going to be using this react hello world GSX directly, which is the same thing, literally just, you know, go ahead and render that's in react application up in here. And this is how to run a server, you specify your ports, you just use this async function, you do a response and you do render to readable stream, you provide it with that. And that is it. It's straight to the point, very simple. Bun is just, you know, straight, straight, easy, and it has pretty simple API. So first, let's run the Node.js server, which is just doing Node and providing the script. Click enter, and this will start a server for us. And behind the scenes, there is this bun react hello world GSX. And uh, just to basically run that particular React Hello World GSX, you can directly run it inside of a bun. Remember, because it's a transpiler, it supports GSX directly, and it has a bundler itself. So you don't have to worry about bundling everything, it's straight to the points. And this is this is really awesome thing that you can just, you know, have bun and run GSX directly without worrying about bundling and doing all that sort of stuff. And of course, you just do bun and it's just the same thing as node, just provide it with a file in here or the script. And once you click enter, this will start the server as well, which will be listed in on port 3000. So this is the bun version in here, local 3000, hello world from bun. And this is just hello world because this is just Node.js. Now I want to actually benchmark the HTTP server the same way they did on the official website. Now how I'm going to just go through this approach, I'm going to use the auto cannon, which is a package that allows you to do HTTP benchmarking, it's it's really awesome package. And I'm going to simply provide it with 10 concurrent users and actually just I'm going to give it to run on 100 seconds. So the Node.js server in here or the server signed react Node.js server that is running, after benchmarking this for 100 seconds, we got like 200,939k requests per second. It's, it's literally just like it's so crazy in here. It's close to the average. It's literally the same thing in here uh, for requests per second. Now I want to go ahead and test out the auto cannon with localhost 3000, which is running our bun server. And of course, when it comes to bun in here, it's actually true. It's super, super fast. And as Chris in here, it's like 5495k uh, number of requests per second he made to that server in like 100 seconds. It's, it's absolutely crazy when you think about it. And of course, it's basically the same thing as an average. We're not taking like the maximum or the minimum in here, but we're just taking the average. And this is literally dominating. It's more of like 2.5x better than Node.js and, and it's literally really nice. And to better benchmark this, we try to create like a custom, very simple benchmark, kind of like heavy and it takes quite some time. So as, as more of the number, like, or like as, as the number gets really higher, that Fibonacci is gonna take more and more time and more CPU users to, you know, get the calculations right in here. So we try to use the number 40, which I see it's more of like adequate. It's not really that high, but it's just like very adequate. It could take like three seconds or four seconds for each request to complete. So that would be a really good test for benchmarking. And of course, we did the same thing in here for bun. So this is actually using bun and this one is going to be using Node.js. So we tried to run the Node.js benchmark on this Fibonacci thing in here and we got like almost 173 requests because this is a very heavy Fibonacci kind of like, you know, it, it takes a lot of a little bit of time for this to return results and of course for the response to get back to the user. So that's why we got this just like few uh, requests in here. And the second part in here, which is we, like the second one, which is bun in here, we got 276 requests in 100 seconds. So it's like almost twice as fast. So inside of the bench folder in here in the SRC in here, it got plenty of plenty of benchmarks that you can run, maybe the cat, the copy, the king cat, the GSIP in here exists. Uh, escaping and plenty of things actually you can play around with. But what I'm more interested about is actually the SQLite. So it's like running a real database and trying to do, you know, read and write from a database. So how fast Bun is compared to Node.js when it comes to a database like SQLite. And by the way, so Bun has already, you know, created like an integration, an official integration of SQLite. So you need like a separate package to install like Node.js does. For example, it's going to need to do like better SQLite 3. But for Bun, it has that already integrated 
really understand your library. Okay, now let's first go ahead and do the like better SQLite, which is the actual Node.js SQLite implementation. And this was try to go ahead and like and read from a table. So it's clearly going to do a select from table product and, and try to do a benchmark using this awesome tool called Metata in here. Um, like, of course, select from order detail and plenty of things. And the table in here, you can just go ahead and download it using the download Northwind SH in here, which I already did, which it got plenty of information. So I'm going to try to benchmark that real quick. So I'm going to do node, I'm going to just go ahead and paste um, that query. So I'm going to do and go ahead and see how long this is going to take. So it's going to do the all benchmarks for us in here. So you need to worry about so for example, select so from order, this is going to take by iteration in average, and it's actually the minimum and maximum in here. And we don't care about the, you know, 75 percentile, whatever. So I'm going to take care of like 48 milliseconds by iteration. And uh, when reading from products takes like 145 microseconds, not even milliseconds in here. So it's a lot faster. But suddenly it took a lot more when it comes to that. So for example, one, one second in here to finish up the order detail, while well, compared to others, just like microseconds, and this one is milliseconds. And this is for the Node.js one. Now, if you want to run, you know, bun, I want to do the query, which is the file that's going to be responsible by bun. And by the way, in here, if you look at this, so bun in here is going to use the benchmark from Metata as well. And bun has SQL already as the standard library in here, and it's going to basically try to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do bun query and let's see how fast this is. So it already got a lot faster compared to the two first ones. And there you go, it just finished in 83 milliseconds for the last one, which one this is just took a second. Like it's crazy fast. And by the way, I'm running this on ARM 64 Darwin and M1 Max CPU, just for you to know that and like a MacBook M1 Max. So yeah, bun is a lot faster. It's in both fast or it's super fast when it comes to HTTP servers. And as well as when it comes to like database and like manipulations reading and, 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 you know, just like seeing how different data can be read, like selected from database in here, or queried, which is amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. So button is really, really fun. I really advise to go ahead and check it out because it plenty it has plenty of stuff and new things and new features that we would love to see and try out as web developers. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you all hopefully in the next ones.